Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. We are Adam. We are better than ever. Some could say we're at our best. This is another edition here. The Brilliantly Dumb Show. Joey Coldcuts has entered the chat with a beanie on live from Los Angeles, California. You got Mikey V. You got Joey D. Now, Joseph, I don't think last week went really the way we planned in regards to our push for subscribers. What do you mean? Um, just not the way that that we drew it up. I think the approach could have been a little bit different to get the subscribers. Now we did get a big subscriber push last week, so so then you would say it worked. Some could say it worked, but maybe not the way that we wanted it. Let's give them another chance at it. Um, Joey D, why don't you tell the folks we're on the quest? As everybody knows, it's very very well known. We're on the quest to hundred thousand subscribers. Joey D, why don't you tell the folks here at the Brilliant Show why you think they should subscribe? Well, I mean, Bob, it's not it's not rocket science, right? Subscribe to the Brilliantly Dumb Show, because you know what? You'd be dumb not to. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, what do you need to be to convince these people? Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you an opportunity to enjoy something that's going to significantly improve your day, your week. You know, and like, and get you through a uh, bad traffic. I'm going to give you a sales pitch argument. for once. Yeah, I was going to send it over. Mikey, why don't you take it away, Michael? All right. Bottom line is, this is not about me. This is not about we. This is about us. And when I say us, I mean all of you out there listening and watching this that have been there since we broke ground on this podcast. Since, yeah. since the OG COVID happy hours, the patreon the instagram the very very early foundations of this podcast and what it was built on and for us to deliver the highest quality product to you to give you and to take us where we have to go and us again as a collective group listeners subscribers watchers and the boys to get us where we need to be to deliver the top-notch product we got to keep building and building and compiling and compiling more and more and more of the faithful the voiceless the take of numbers. I call the take of numbers Joey's people because cold cuts, you know, when you go to buy cold cuts at the deli, you got to take a number. So I call his people like the take of numbers. That's what I what I call them for, for Joey. So we need all of you. And everybody has to combine as a team and make this happen. And if we do, the product is going to just blow your minds. The bigger and bigger we could get, the better and Great. better of a quality we could deliver. And that's why we're here. And that's why we continue to show up week in and week out. Not about we, not about me about us wow wow let's give it up for i mean that that was pretty good the only thing it was it was a little long <laughs> like if you're doing a sales pitch this isn't supposed to be quick and to the point right like well, really I mean, dumb I show know. subscribe you'd be dumb not to <laughs> that's like a one one and done you know <laughs> two, i mean it had good feedback so yeah <laughs> two, i two. love the passion the passion the passion oh <laughs> I'm, I'm very worried. Dickie V's not in a good way, man. He's yeah. not. Why? Yeah. He's got, he's got, he's got throat cancer. I think he's got like really bad. Like he's, he's, he's not good. He's got like vocal, something really fucked up with his vocal cords. And like, he's, he's not well. He's yeah. not well. You that's know, a shame. That's, that's you know, not good. You know who he was very close with? Um, Joseph, one of, one of my all time heroes, Jimmy V. Him and yeah. Jimmy V. Oh yeah. yeah. Were very, very tight. Jimmy V showed up at like a work convention um, and he gives an hour speech. I watch it on YouTube all the time. It's one of the most amazing speeches I've ever seen. Like he's it's so more good. of like a motivational type of thing. You know what I mean? But he's so good. You love that stuff. So good. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I like to uh, be Jimmy v. <laughs> Jimmy v. Jimmy V was, was awesome. But, bro. but do you know the thing that I hate now that's really big now is like on TikTok and stuff. Now you have the guys like these billionaire guys are like big mogul real estate guys that try and like fire you up and do it like their thing. I hate, I hate. I mean, that. that's a lot of people out there. You that's don't even like have that to be Andrew a billionaire. Tate, he's the worst. No, but the Andrew Tate, that's like a total. <laughs> so that's like, that, that's like uh, a total. I get where you're going. That's like a total. Another thing. polarizing figure. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a guy who I find to be obnoxiously arrogant. And I might take some heat for this. I don't care. He is incredibly. Is incredibly it, I thought this was going to be your cell. 
I got another guy who's arrogant. I got okay. two guys. Wow. Well, apparently wow. Bob's wow. got a couple of okay. guys who grinds its gears. I got, got two a lot, got a I lot got, to get off his chest today. Go I got ahead, two <laughs> arro- really, really arrogant people. Really okay. arrogant people. Okay. Um, first one, Grant Cardone. You ever hear of Grant no Cardone? I have no who idea that who that is. Never heard of That's Grant That's got to be Cardone. some internet guy. It's got to be an internet sure guy. Sure is. Sure is. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he's a very, um, he's like a real estate mogul. You could, you could watch... Go watch. There's a thing between him and the Wolf of Wall Street guy, Jordan. This Belfair. guy, another arrogant. Yes, go go watch that. It's this between... guy can kick rocks. I never Yo, even heard of this guy. Yo, I'm telling you, he world is... renowned entrepreneur. Yeah, he's a bill. He, don't get me wrong. He's made a fortune. Usually, if I say if I say something shitty about a guy who's rich, Cutsy will be like, it gets richer. But, but Bob, he's like, he's got a lot of money, Bob. Like he's made. I'm like, yeah, that's not the point. Oh, he's that got I'm a making. real estate firm, the Cardone Capital. Yeah, it, it's very, and he does like TED talks. He comes off extremely. He looks like a douche. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got another arrogant guy, if I can, and then we'll. Go well, well, what, 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 I got another doing? arrogant guy, guy that, that really, really grinds my gears. Now, this one, I think I could take some heat for. I don't care. Football aside, I'm not talking. This is not. Sell. No, this is this is this is not a sell though. This is. Not, I, I have another sell. This okay. is just this. I know this, who you're gonna say, by the way. This guy. I know who you're gonna say. Say it's it on so three. Yeah, if you know. It's Let's so say it on three. three. Oh, are you are you involved here too, Joey D? No, I'm. Oh, I'm Joe, you know who this. Joe, you know who it is. Also, I think right? I've said it before. When I he think... says it, you're gonna know, right? You're gonna be like, oh I yeah. Think so, but I, if Mikey says he knows, so I want to. I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure. You're on three. One. Two, three, Nick, Nick Sirianni. Sirianni. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I knew I, he always. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand him. No, I, he's I, the worst. He's he one is, of the worst okay. ever. Good. He's one of the good. worst. I, I'm yeah. happy to hear that. When I he really did am. the flying the case him last too. night, he's, case him. he's just he's 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 just. I tell you what, though, those Eagles look good. No, man. but 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 Mike, yeah. am I am I off? Like, did you see him even coming into a like his his post game conference where he talked about the the um. Tush push the shove. Yeah. The yeah. Brotherly shove. And like, yeah. you know, he said, where's the camera? Where's the camera? He goes, if everybody could do it. they would. And I'm not saying he's a bad coach by any means. He's just incredibly arrogant. Yeah. He's, 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 he's I think it's I, kind listen, of like his persona last year in the super bowl, or if it was the playoffs or the super bowl, I think it was the super bowl, whatever exchange happened on the field. And Sirianni started jawing at one of the Chiefs players. Actually, I'm I'm pretty positive it was the Super Bowl. There was an exchange between Sirianni and one of Hertz, the Chiefs players. Like, shut him up in the Super Bowl. And Hertz literally had to come over and tell him to basically shut the fuck up. If your quarterback is doing that and you're supposed to be the head coach, like what are you doing? If the if the quarterback has and the quarterback's only been in the league a couple of years, he's still like I don't want to say he's a kid, but he's relatively still a very young guy. You would think Sirianni, his life experience is so much greater at this point. But it, that's just so embarrassing. It's just, he's embarrassed. He's a he's he's a jackass. He's just a jackass. That's what he is. And and as far as the Eagles go, Jalen Hurts is so likable. Like they yes, have a likable team. Very, he he very. really is. AJ Brown is pretty likable. I too. agree. I think oh he God. is. And Devonta he Smith is, is pretty monster. likable. Another one. They have they class a acts of cosplay, but I can't root for them. Because of this guy, he is such a jackass, just like Mikey V said. The Maybe players, he- there's got to be a good contingency of players that think the same thing in that locker room, but they don't oh. say anything. There has there has to be. There has to be. I, I wish I oh. had that team right now, man. So I'll tell got, you that much. Uh, you and me both, buddy. We got Grant Cardone and we got Nick Sirianni. Joe, who's a guy that you find arrogant? And then we'll send it over to Mikey V. Who got- I've said it. I'm going to double down. I've said it before. I've said, I'll say it again. I put, publicly announced it on this podcast. And you guys know who it is. It's a guy who doesn't do much and thinks that he is the king of the fucking world. Oh, oh my oh God. No. Not Hasbulla oh, again. No, no, no. He's not no, no. Hasbulla no. no. is the fuck. Uh, this is not Hasbulla. I, I, he, I, I know where he's going. I don't right, go to go there. He's I forgot. This guy he, thinks no, that he no. runs, that he no. runs Las Vegas and everything that goes with it because of the UFC is, is buffer. This oh, guy oh, is the most. Oh my God. Wow, Bob thought Dana oh. White was going to take a stray. Oh, he was about to fucking. God. He was about to close his computer oh, and oh, shut the show yeah. down. <laughs> I, uh, I like Dana White. What are you I, talking about? I, I no, no. I, but I, Whoa. the UFC. <laughs> I said. I said it before. No, 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 you, no, no you, have, you have. You have. And you by have. the way, if you watch more on him, he walks around like his shit don't stink, man. I'm sorry. You know what? He adds value to them when he does the announcement. But he walks around there like he is King Tut. It is the most 
It is. It is. It, it just. I can't. I can't. I can't I, with that I, guy, man. I, I and his brother's you. better, anyways. We're we're an accountability first program here, and if we're wrong, and if we need to take accountability, we're going to do it. And I will say, give credit where credit's due. The more I looked on it, I think that Joey D take has aged very well. I'm still a fan of his. I love that. I love the it's fan. time. I'm just saying, big fan. I'm yeah, not I, I love what he to does. be a fan. You could be a fan of him, but you can still admit that the guy is extremely arrogant. I don't know because I guess maybe I just don't like. Here's the thing: his realm, his entire existence on this planet, in my eyes, right now, he may be a father. He's obviously probably a father, a son, a brother, mm. a family member. He probably has many roles in this life. But I feel I'm very good at car- uh, compartmentalizing people for exactly what purpose they serve me. The only purpose that Buffer serves me is to say it's time for a UFC pay-per-view. I don't really read into anything else outside of that. That's his arena. I really don't, like, I haven't looked into how he is outside of that, what he does outside. I could care less. All I want you to do is come into the octagon and say it's time. And right now he does that better than anybody else. So I got to give him credit for that. His, his existence outside of that realm, I could really care less about. I know that sounds very cold-hearted and shallow, but it's it's the truth. It's the honest to God's truth. Joe, what time is it in Los Angeles? Is that bazooka bubblegum? This guy just pulled out. You is that talk, bazooka? You talk, oh, yeah, Bazooka Joe. Look at that. You talk about one I of tell you, what an all-time eye. What an eye. psychopath moves. This guy just That's pulled out. That's a great out. eye, though. A that is, yeah. A bazooka bubblegum. Good gum. Good gum. Oh, it's great gum. Good gum. In the, well, it's a first half bubblegum. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, doubt about it. no doubt about it. Yeah. Very much like juicy fruit. Well, juicy fruit's like juicy a first quarter. Juicy fruit's the first quarter. It's the first quarter gum. Yeah. You're lucky to get it. It's a first drive. Yeah. Yeah. You're not drive. You don't score a touchdown on that drive. You're Remember that gum with the zebra stripes? Like that cartoon zebra fruit stripes, I think. Fruit stripes gum. Um, you know, Bob, cartoon yeah. zebra. It's like yeah. a rainbow oh, you zebra. mentioned this before, dude. You chew that gum like three chews in, and it's done. It's cooked. It's yeah. old. You lose the flavor in like three chews. It's sick. Juicy fruit, though, is like notorious for it. Yes. Juicy fruit can just find a way to last three quarters. It, it'll go down. It's, and they they refuse to change their ways. They just they have got to find a way to last three quarters. You think big the R and D people? Gum. Big Red's okay. I like big red. You think the R and D people over at Juicy Fruit would have tried to figure out a way to make it last? Longer? They're like the, yeah. they're like they're like the people over over at Blue. Mickey's, oh, I they thought put he was out the say, product and they didn't they didn't want to improve on it. They just I might give you caught some strays for I that. I thought he was for the Bluetooth. The, did I? Yeah. Did you read the comments? Nah. I, well, like, I did. I did, but I don't remember seeing anything about everybody the on this podcast. Everybody catches strays. Yeah, that's it, everybody. Right. That's my favorite true. though is when Mikey V will read the comments and someone comes at him and he goes back <laughs> at them in the comments of the podcast. <laughs> some, uh, listen, <laughs> I'll be like, "Oh, this guy doesn't really know." Sometimes what he's I, I, I truly, you should open your I, eyes, tru- I, I truly, honestly think I, I, I mean this from the bottom of my soul. I really mean this. I think that I personally, here we go. If I clap back at somebody, I am, I am persecuted and brought to the forefront in the spotlight more than any other person when I clap back. That I, I really honestly believe that. I really no, do. I, I think it's like, I, 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 I'm contrived. I'm contrived as a bully. I am not allowed no, to say back no. to anything else. That's no. outrageous. I, okay. I don't, I don't okay. know if I agree. I'm with glad that, you guys Mike. disagree. No, yeah. I'm glad. I'm happy you disagree. I think Joey, dis- I think Joey D takes a lot of heat. At yeah. time. Now, I will message me on the side and be like, why do you have to message that I guy? I have a that? lot of run-ins with I, a lot of run-ins with Joey D. Where <laughs> but Joey sometimes, D- to my credit, Bob, I don't. I write something. <laughs> there it is. That's it. No, but I'm being honest. Like sometimes, to my credit, like I'll write something, and I don't mean it in the context that it comes across. Like you get banged it's sometimes. It's pretzeled. Yeah, sometimes you bang yourself because the way that someone reads or interprets a message could could be very vastly different than how you intended it to be. Hey, folks, Joey Colcuts here. We interrupt this podcast segment to let you know that this podcast is proudly supported and sponsored by our friends at DraftKings. For all you NBA fans out there, the wait is over. Basketball is back and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, is celebrating with an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down as little as $5 on the NBA. Win or lose, 
it don't matter. You're instantly starting the season off with a big time dub. And that's where we come in. As I said before, use our promo code DUMB, D-U-M-B, Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and receive $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting as little as $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Yeah, I, I and to my credit, <laughs> to my credit, everybody go around and say something that's good about them. To their credit. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll take you on that because my, my thing is, especially on the internet, and I've been doing you've it never, a You time. never, ever, I've never seen you come back at anybody. I don't think I've ever seen it once, ever. So I got to give you credit on that. I got to give you credit. You're just, you're going to lose the battle. If, no matter what's said, no matter how good your point is, you're going to lose the battle. You're never going to win. The only time I'll come back is if I joke back with them, like not go at them, but like, right. like yeah, you're right. I am an asshole or something. Something ridiculous. <laughs> that's not even coming that's, back. At that's when Bob's like, really pissed. Yes. Yes. That's what <laughs> But the thing with Joe is like, if I'll message Joe on the side and be like, Joe, like, why do you got to do that? And like, you'll never get it to where it's just an immediate accountability. Like, my bad, Bob, you're right. He'll be like, I wasn't coming at him, Bob. And then the, me- <laughs> the next message, then the next message or three more after, then he'll say, okay, Bob, I see at what least you're Joe, saying. At least Joe's laughing because he does know that that's true. He knows. He so knows. He does. He does know. That's why he said that you're not the one who takes the most because Bob messaged me on the side and I've gotten better. I used yeah. to go. Yes, I used you to have. Go- I now I take like subtle shots if I jet, you know jet jet really pissed me off yesterday, bro. Oh, yeah, there was really, really there, really there pissed was me a off yesterday, bro. There was he really a jet was taking such covert cheap shots at Ohio State and Kyle McCord that I just saw it and I was like, I just lost my mind. I was so it mad. Got it got chippy. It got very chippy. Yeah. I, I had to bring it up because it is good for people to hear it um, and understand what does go on on an everyday basis with this group. Um, that was right. in the Audi. No, that was in the in, in oh, the, the fantasy in, chat. In the fantasy yeah. chat. Yeah. And it was like Bob to sports versus brilliantly dumb at the same time. Well, yeah. I, I will say Jed is, and he's not going to like this one bit. Jed is a notorious Twitter troll. So that that started on Twitter. He called and he called Kyle McCord Honda Accord McCord. And he called <laughs> he called Drew Aller. He called Drew Aller the Penn State quarterback, like the Aller Ultima or or something like that. The you know what happened? You know something you, like that. You know what must have happened? Oh good. The Jet must have had Penn State. He had a head oh, oh, or the over. <laughs> no, or the no, over. no, or the no, over. No, no. Probably yeah. had, the way no, he was actually he the way Penn he was State. attacking both quarterbacks, though. The no, over could no, be. he had, he had Penn, Penn State. State. Yeah, that that explains it. You know what? Then, now I'm not mad. I wish he had told me that oh. right off the jump. Then I would have been like, I get it. I I, no, I, but the jet is secretive with this stuff. He doesn't say. And I know. He had I Penn that, State, that's, so he was, sti- that's betting superstition. I get that. So he's pissed at Aller, but he's also saying that McCord is just junk. Because yeah, and I, I, I just factually, I cannot, I cannot co-sign that. Oh, That's what he ain't answering. Eight gonna... nineteen in the morning, he ain't answering. No, he's definitely asleep. I want to know if he had a bet on that game because that does he make. He did. A lot of I'm sense. telling you, Joe knows for a fact. He says he had. You a bet. do? I know. I talked to him about it. There you go. See. This is we both had Penn, Penn State. State. We had Definitely. Penn State. You, oh, you both had Penn State. Had, oh show? my God! So that's why oh, it got fucker. to where. But no, but no, 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 no. Let me say, I had Penn State with the points. I had Penn State with the points. They, him, and Tick had Penn State money line. I'm going to tell you this right now. I did not bet that game for obvious reasons. I don't bet them when they play in big games. If I and the same thing with the Notre Dame game. And Joe, you know this because I said it on the Sportsman how many times. I honestly believe that this team was going to lose three or four games this year. I thought they were going to lose to Notre Dame. I thought they were going to lose to Penn State. And I thought they're going to lose to Michigan. So far, they've beaten both those teams. If I had to bet on Saturday, I would have taken Penn State with the points. Well, I just would have. To, they, they, they beat Penn State. The Notre they Dame, they should have lost. Them. Yeah, They well, should have lost. And, but they won. They won. But like yeah. the Penn State game, they actually played great. They played the great. Defense did, yeah. Defense I will say, great. though, and, and I hope Jet does hear this, uh, I, I think Jet is a notorious Twitter he, troll. There's no That's question about that. That's how he started his career. That's how he's very good. 
Because I watch, because I have all his tweets on alert. Every tweet he sends out, I get a notification on it. And that's the way I like it. And that's the way I'm going to keep it. I will He's say very this. good. I very think good. You... If Jet comes at you, you're in a tough spot. Yeah, you are, bro. He's vicious. I have not seen him lose very much. He's like a pit bull, dude. He comes. He is. I was actually going to say, he's like one of those snakes in the baskets on like the Egyptian roads where they like, play Oh, the, the King Cobra just comes out and strikes. Yeah, the King yeah. King Cobras. Yeah. Yeah, he's a snake, bro. Like, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Like, not like a snake. I mean, it doesn't sound. No, 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 no. No, 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 like, no, 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 because I know. Wait, 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 wait. Now, don't threat Bob. Like, you're a real wait, snake, wait, but yeah. that's a good thing. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. You're a real not a snake scumbag. in the sense. Wait, not in the bad way though. But you're a real great. <laughs> <great-ass laughs> this guy. This I've is a pretzel heard, job. Not in the bad. Way. Heard anybody not, say a not snake a snake. Is a good thing. Not a snake in the sense that he's like sneaky, scumbaggy. Snake in the sense that when he strikes, if he locks those fangs onto you, he's going to inject the venom. That's what's going to happen. He could strike quickly and it's venomous. That's the way I was I was saying it. Not I like will say like- this. When the Jet is pissed off in our group, like with the Bob the Sports crew. It makes no for good one, content. But no to. one no one claps back. It's very yeah, I, rare. Yeah. Yeah, and I can sometimes, see why. Sometimes, sometimes I'll why. like do this silly stuff with him. Where I'll come back, like I like, and then he just gets furious. And then I, what is going on out I, there? I don't know. That scared the shit out That's of me. <laughs> what was? I, what I think, was I, that? Now I think I thought I saw he had the backpack, the S T I H L, which is maybe like a pool a, cleaning. That's a, that's like a chainsaw brand. So maybe he's like trimming trees and shit out there. That would be my what? Guess. <laughs> Bro, I that caught my guess. I caught the tail end of that. You yeah, guys scared was, me. I didn't yeah, even. Yeah, that what was the wild. Fuck <laughs> oh, you got it. Now listen, if you're only listening again, we encourage you to watch the YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube because there's so many intricacies right. and things that you miss just listening right. i Good really you, feel like you have to watch the youtube i really do yeah. i'm being yeah. honest and and just to cap that off a jet yes he is an internet troll that is how he he started <laughs> his career <laughs> me and jet have had some me and jet had a had a spur and me and jet are i mean we're like this we're we, that's blood to me we had a good week where me and him were going at it every <laughs> single day and it would get up i mean it would get he can go with the best yeah. and we would yeah. go he got me to a point where i was screaming at him at the top of my lungs screaming um but the good thing about jet which i really appreciate when you're done with an argument joe's actually very good with this too you could go at it with joe and you could want to fucking rip his head off vice versa with joe maybe even some more than jet He's over it the next minute. It's like it didn't happen. He yeah, keeps it moving. under the bridge. That's important. Yeah, he's that's good important. with that. That's very important. I hate you can people who keep in. fucking tabs grudges are pointless. Grudges. Yeah, grudges are pointless. They're pointless. I, keep a grudge. You, you got some problems, man. I also I agree. Think- Joe's just so erratic that like I part of me too like makes me think he like forgets like you know how he'll be like screaming at a bet and the next thing you know turn and be like Bob I ordered food he's like yeah fuck the yeah. Ravens Bob yeah. pizza's here like it's yeah. kind of well, like, I got I got a bad case of ADD I think I think we all do yeah yeah Gordon I think I Bob's got the worst case I've ever whoa! seen oh what yeah that? yeah you're, you're Bob your attention span is is tough Bob when it's, I was in tough. high school I, I your attention span was... you disagree Bob your attention but, span's wor- not tough worse than Joe oh way worse way worse really and I and I and I, and I got prescribed for Ritalin I'm telling you right now, dude. You, 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 you. Now we're now we're violating HIPAA on the brilliantly dumb show. But I guess it's not a violation. It's you're, volunta- you're volunteering the information. That's fine. Okay. I'm okay. saying I had a case. I've, I'm saying it's true. I got a case of ADD. That's you know not particularly great because I lose it. I, 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 I am going a million miles a minute. But Bob, you're worse than me. You, you, oh, you, <laughs> I, I haven't finished. Bob, I, haven't I have finished. a, I have a, I have a, uh, a diagnosed, uh, uh, you know, um, issue, and I take prescription medication. But you're worse, far worse. <laughs> just understand that. I'm just saying, my dad, my dad, he, he, that's what he does. He diagnoses people who have these things, and he tell me like what the symptoms are. And I'm telling you right now, it's, part of it is what makes Bob so, brilliant at what he does. If your I, dad, if your I, dad's, I didn't know, your dad was, I didn't know your dad. My dad. Doctor. Yeah. My dad's I in the, he was a history my, teacher, Joe. No, he's got a master's in history, but he's, he's, um, he's a, a, like the, um, for like learning disabilities and like, uh, like he's ahead of the board. I know your dad's a very, very smart guy, but does, very he, brilliant. does he prescribe medicine? Is he, a, is he a doctor? No, he like, he, no, he works at the school and the kids who have learning disabilities and who have issues they would send to him and he was head of the board so he would like 
help them learn how to read, how to write, how to he he so teach he's, kids. He's, he's special in special education. learning disabilities. Yeah, special education. Yeah, yeah oh, special oh, education. I, I, okay, I thought you were saying yeah. that he diagnoses that. No, he knows how to diagnose based on symptoms that he's well, probably he probably if, okay. if the student if the student comes to if the student is is brought to his attention with an issue, he could probably make yes. a recommendation to go see a specialist to get medication. I got yes. you. I got 100%. you. 100%. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm he's glad very... I'm here to break that down. Very so yes. what I'm saying is he he told me before I even got diagnosed with ADD that I he had He told you you were <laughs> Yeah, he's like, "Oh, you got a rabid case." He's like, "You you, you <laughs> He's like, your, your, your mind is going a million miles a minute. You're distracted. He used to say to me, um, um, blink and think, don't glare and stare. Like he used to have all these things that he'd say to me. Because my on a shirt. That's a good one. My head would be in the clouds. But I'm saying, I think part of Bob's ADD and his short attention. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I finish? Can I finish? Oh, but I don't have ADD. I think oh, we should. Oh, you have. No, but. Uh, Let's part bring. Of, part we should bring what... Mr. D on the next episode I, and and diagnose. I would have a little to. thing with Bob and we'll diagnose him on the show. Would, okay, Bob go ahead, Joe. But I'm saying I what's wrong part, with not say what's wrong with you. It's many people have ADD. It's not like you're a yes. basket. Case. You're not like I'm a leper. You're not no. like a leper or anything. You know how many people have ADD? What I'm saying is part of it is your is what makes you brilliant at what you do because your mind works differently than most people. It's got a it's beautiful mind. A so I'm, I'm like the yeah. rain man. I'm like the rain man. Is what well, yeah. rain man yeah, is also degree, very smart. Degree, I don't you, know. Mikey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, Bob has the highest sense of emotional and social intelligence I have ever seen in someone. Oh, wow. the EQ, yeah. the EQ That's getting really a little nice. Bob, up Bob, here. you could place Bob in the middle of the street amongst strangers and he yes. would be able to keep them entertained That's true. and keep them um, happy and content. Like you're able uh, able to like read people and understand what they're looking for. And that's why you're so brilliant at what you do. But on the flip side, your your brain goes like it, it. If your brain was a battery, it would it would be like the Energizer Bunny. It would be going just like this a million times a minute because you you just you can't sit still. That's why you can't watch movies. Bob's that's the type of guy. Yeah, Bob's the type I mean, of guy that like watches fair, a like... watches a movie and reads a book at the same time. <laughs> like that's the type of guy Bob is. <laughs> like in the old days, and now it's scrolling your phone, but everybody scrolls the phone. But like in the old days, he'd be the yeah, guy, yeah, guy yeah. sitting in front, watch a movie, but have a book and start reading the book while the movie's. <laughs> Oh, fuck you guys! Fuck I you. just I you saw such a Joe big game oh, yeah. It was it was good. No, I see. Joe basically threw flowers at your feet for twenty minutes. Yeah, there no, before he good. went on the good. ADD thing. It was a but, roller coaster. But, yeah, it was. But Joe, well, you know, in life, you got to take the good with the bad, Joe, man. That's how you, it is. When you were homeschooled, did like when you woke up in the morning, right? Yeah. Do you just God, come this down guy with these questions, bro? You no, always, it's a good question. It's a good question. This guy comes up with the most fucking insane questions and asks them at the most insane time ever, though. That's just oh, what I he had, does. I had one. He called me insane. last night. He called me last night before the huge Rangers game that we had, and he goes, "Joey, I just want to ask you before we get down to business here." I'm like, yeah. He's like, if you were to die tomorrow, what's your biggest regret, dude? What <laughs> am I? What am I getting that, interviewed Bob, Bob, for sixty is, minutes? Yeah. What the fuck is that? There's no one on the phone. It's just me and him. This is 2020 with, with Barbara Walters. <laughs> Bob Barbara. I said Barbara Walters. <laughs> I, got, I had one for you the other day. I'm just a curious. What did I ask you, Mikey, the other day? Something about like my kids. Like, we, oh, oh. Well, I, I'm not getting into politics at all, but everything going on in the world. Like, like if I came home and saw Dominic watching the news. Oh, like yeah, and yeah. what's going on in in the Middle East and, and in Gaza? Like if if he was watching that, would I be very uh, like uh, disturbed by that? And I was like, Bob, he's he's five years old. He has no idea, no conception of war, politics, religion. It's actually why kids are so great because they just have clear minds. They just don't give a shit about anything because they don't know any better. You're at heart. Uh, so yeah, but that was an insane question. That was an yeah, insane yeah. question. Insane. Just... How was Don's birthday, by the way? Fantastic! He had a great time. So, great so time. I, I care. I do time. care about Dom's birthday, but I just did want to ask you, like, when you got homeschooled, did <laughs> you did you just wake up and then like go down to like the kitchen table and then your dad started the class or like? Oh, I taught myself. 
Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is not real. This is not. This can't be real. <laughs> Joe, Joe, what do you mean? You taught yourself. You, you can't. T- you, you laid out your own lesson plans. Like they sent you the materials. Okay. They would send okay. you. They okay. would send you the books. Right. Like, who yeah, is that? Would, who is that? The school board would send you like for math. I'd have three booklets like this. Okay. At the at uh, there was uh, each book had five send in tests that I had to complete and then send in to the school to be marked. And then at the end of the fi- of the booklet, I had to go in to write a two hour exam at the school. But but wasn't but that- I was responsible for going through the the material learning it reading it and then write and and basically teaching myself so they would just put the your dad would put the book in front of you you would just learn it and then take the test yes but he's so he's my dad was at school my dad was at school he wasn't teaching me i was doing this at home by myself (laughs) and that's why when i went back to high school in grade 10 I had been doing curriculum in grade nine that the school board was giving me when I went back to high school in grade 10. So I had done all of the stuff. I I knew everything that I was doing. So I started, I'm not making this up, by the way, this is, this is, this is, this is, you can ask Nicole about this. So I went to school in grade 10. It was so easy for me that I started doing a side business where I would write papers and do like, Ex- like um like like essays for people and i would charge them money because i was it was, that I, was is, so that is I was true. i was a this prince, is, i was this is, this is a lot student. to digest i this was an honor roll student like, and i would charge like a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars a paper and people and i guaranteed a beer this is better true. this is true his parents even told you me you could that, ask that, nicole that, yeah. i'm not making this up man that i'm is not true. making this up that no is. no i know you're not because if you were you'd have to be committed to a mental institution if you were making this up you would have to be committed to a mental hospital my, my and i my, believe everything it's just so wild to me joe, i'm trying to wrap my, my claim brain was around. my claim was bees are better joe, i like that's a good slogan joe let me ask you let me ask you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. i have a wild past so, man this was so wild do you think though like okay like you got homeschooled all those years to where when you showed up for, to, to grade 10 do you think from a social standpoint in all seriousness, do you think from a social standpoint, you were a little behind because you're not with. Oh, the I was socially you. awkward like you wouldn't believe. So we went to a private school. So we had to wear. I'll give you an example. One of my good friends to this day, Matthew Boffel, shout out to Matthew. He was in my class in homeroom and we had a uh, we went to Notre Dame High School. It was a um, private school. So you had to wear like a uniform, like a whole whole thing. The and they had a thing. They had a thing like it was the first week of school where they were not allowing you if you wore sneakers, like if you don't wear black dress shoes, if you wore sneakers, they would give you what's called a yellow slip, which would be a detention. So she's explaining this. Our homeroom teacher, I put my hand up and oh, the guy's back. No, come on. Fuck off. Stop. So I put my hand up and Matthew, my who is my friend to this day, is sitting next to me. And I said to the teacher, I go, so if you're wearing shoes like Matthew, that is grounds for a yellow slip. And she goes, yes. And at the spot, writes him a yellow slip for detention and gives it to him. And he looks over at me and it's like, yo, what the fuck? (laughs) Because I was socially, I was just, I was intrigued. I was just curious. Or like we had a a situation. Joe, Joe, do you think socially, do you think you've caught up? Oh, by by leaps and bounds. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. This is, this is one of the wilder. If you, if you haven't watched. This is one of the wilder past 10 minutes of this podcast that has ever happened. I you didn't know this, Mikey V? Not to the, not to, I knew you were homeschooled, but I did not know the intricacies of everything. I was homeschooled this is good for to know. five years from like grade four to like grade nine. Yeah. So and do you and regret- the first few years when I was young, my mom would actually, because we were little, my mom would give us the stuff. We would do the school and then we'd be done like a month or two months before regular school. So I'd be on summer vacation for ages. And, and ideally, were- I started homeschooling so I could play hockey uh, and like go to I was an athlete. I, I would go to like you know, Mikey. goalie school or like I had a personal trainer I'd go through in the days. So the this idea is the fucking wildest <laughs> Mikey, fucking story, Mikey, bro. Mikey, he was going, he was going to Nobu in July. <laughs> <laughs> sadly, sadly, that's not the case. 
<laughs> Sadly, <laughs> such was not the case. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brownlee Lum Show to let you know that the Brownlee Lum Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at Athletic Greens. I use Athletic Greens every single day morning it gives me better gut health more energy an optimized immune system and you just cannot go wrong it's a terrific way for me to start my day athletic green supports better sleep quality and recover supports mental clarity and alertness you cannot go wrong it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every single day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Just one scoop into some water and you're good to go. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Get Athletic Greens today. All right, fellas. Hey, yeah, better late than never, Joe. You know, fuck fellas. It. We got we got a little bit of an issue here because I can do this podcast for three hours. Problem <laughs> being is we have a call at 12 o'clock. Okay, we haven't been into the buy or sell segment. We still got a top five, and I do need a quick word from Yaman, who's called me back, because I do need to know if that's what started that argument. Yams, so. you're live here on the Burnley Dumb Show. Oh, um, the and Jets. Now you can't yeah. hear the guys, but they can hear you. I got a quick question in regards to you and Mikey V going at each other's necks yesterday. <laughs> did, you, did you have a bet on Penn State? Um, I did. So, <laughs> so would you would you say that that led to the hostility that you gave towards the Buckeyes? No, no, not at all. The hostility, to, but but that this had nothing to do with the bet. One, I had a bet on Penn State, and I was talking about the Ohio State quarterback who I thought was playing poorly, but Penn State lost. So I that has nothing to one. Well, that's why you were, but that's what I'm saying. That's why you were pissed off and took it out on Mikey, possibly. But I didn't take Mikey came after me. Can I explain to you what happened? Yeah, sure. (laughs) Okay, so we're watching um, the Penn State Ohio State game. I'm watching the game. I had a bet on Penn State, and he can hear you. Johnson, what was that? No, they can hear you now. Vice versa. Okay, Gus Johnson will not stop referring to to. Marvin Harrison Jr. as Maserati Marv. And it was pissing me off. <laughs> he was like, Maserati Marv. <laughs> okay. So I go, so I, and, and both quarterbacks were playing like ass. So as a joke, I sent a tweet out. <laughs> and it, it was calling McCord Honda Accord McCord, right? It was a <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> very good by the way very good yeah it was it was a it was great concept. it wasn't a shot at McCord. it just because that's just was so, pissing me off about this mar uh this maserati mark <laughs> i called a cord honda accord mccord <laughs> and, and what did you call jet what did you call drew aller because that was good too uh, it was it was a uh, nissan ultima aller <laughs> <laughs> That was it was first <laughs> Ultima Hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a shot at Gus Johnson. And the next morning, I open up Twitter and I see Mikey V has responded to me. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Ohio State at me that I had nothing to do. Now, am I a notorious Ohio State hater? Yes. yes. Do I think they have the most obnoxious fans in the country. Yes. But this had, <laughs> this did not have. He had to do that. And once Mikey V came after me, he opened the door for me to just. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, did he clap back. It sure okay. did. Thank you, Yaman. We love uh, you, Jet. We love you. We just wanted to get that take because, again, I, I originally was on your side. I thought Mikey got very hostile with you. But come to think that that led, that stemmed from a bet, I do have a little bit different of a view on it now, to be honest. Yes, but it more so stems from a tweet. Like, it, it, I, I have long form not liked Ohio State, but I don't have an it like it was an objective view Do of the quarterback. They were both Jet, are you Jet, are you still of the stance that you think McCord is a bad quarterback? 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah, see, see, that's 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 the core. That's the core issue right here. That's the and core I, issue. I got another problem. Like, I don't like going after like college kids who like aren't getting paid, but they probably are getting paid. Or oh, like he's getting paid. He's getting paid. Need, and I'm sitting here like trashing them. So I don't like to like say like they're bad. I just, no, like, he's getting paid. You could trash him. Thing, another thing, you were you weren't making sense because you're like he's a rookie quarterback. Cut him some slack. He's this and this step. I was literally, I just watched the game with my eyes and I said, This guy's <laughs> another Ohio State game. And he just didn't play well. And I was like, This guy's bad. And it was a fucking shot at Gus Johnson, not even at the fucking kid. So, I'm so wow. you mean you called the kid, you called the kid a Honda Accord? But it was, but it was a joke. At Honda Accords are reliable. No, I know it was a so, joke. And by yeah. the way, a very good yeah. joke. I thought the joke Do was Do you great. think? Do you think that Mikey V was out of line yesterday? Oh, listen to this think, now. No, I'm, I, I'm, it's a serious I don't know. No, hang on a second. I don't think he was out of line coming, like, defending his team. But That's once right. you open the door to the, like, he's going to get hot in that kitchen. And all I did. A hundred percent. And I knew that. I knew that. Okay, so I don't, I don't even think there's an issue. I think it was a friendly discussion. But then That's correct. he started pointing at, like, championships, and he started pointing at stats. And oh, I did go to the championship thing. You know what it is? He did. Columbus. He did. Mikey, it's it's one of us, and I never do it. It's like saying with the Yankees 27 World Series. I didn't. Okay. It is. <laughs> you did. But you did go there, Mikey. You did. <laughs> and that I don't think is a good – I don't think you go for the titles or the championship. Again, that would be like us doing the 27 World Series with the Yankees. Yeah, I don't do that. Not I hear me that. go out. No, I avoid that. that. I Unless avoid it's that. against Teddy, who Teddy gets very out of line. <laughs> yeah, well, Red Sox. Different then story. And maybe yeah. Jet was out of line. Okay, Jet. Um, The problem we have is we have a call in 19 minutes, and, and we have not gotten anywhere on the show – um, but can you give me one more Gus Johnson Maserati McCord? Maserati Marv. McCord sends it to Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> I love Gus Johnson. All right, thank you, Yaman. What a display from the kid. Dude, he was on today, man. Yeah, he was. He was. Hold on, let me just plug these back in. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't think there was any. There's no hostility there whatsoever. There's no hostility. I, I just... For him to say that McCord is not good is just to me is a wild take. It's just a wild take. You and can't wait, say way, that. You can't say it. You can't this say bazooka it. Joe is still holding oh, its own. No it's way. There's no way. It is um, the Joe baby. Yeah, I just I wish people could have saw how hot that group chat got yesterday. It was wild. Um, fellas, we got to get into it now. Um, we're gonna be doing our buy or sell. Mikey V, why don't you go ahead? Give us the buy or sell, and then we're going to head into the top five. Yeah, I'm going to buy this week. I'm usually a seller, but I'm going to buy this week. I'm going to buy and give a major shout out. Jacksonville State Gamecocks football team. <laughs> five and two. Five and two or six and two on the season. They just converted over to FBS from FCS. Caden Creel, big fan of the program. Uh, quarterback, <laughs> a quarterback on that roster for the Jacksonville State uh, Gamecocks. <laughs> Big fans of the program. Apparently, the whole locker room and the whole team are friends, fans of the program. Jacksonville State. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be Jacksonville State fans the rest of the way. Buying Jacksonville State, buying them very, very big this week against FIU <laughs> on Wednesday. Go Cox. <laughs> you know what Mikey V does? I don't Go know Cox. if you've ever seen Barstool Sports Advisors, which is one of my favorite show. They always do a bit on Stu Finer because he uses the platform to like pump different things and help his different relationships and friendships. I'm um, buying like, Jacksonville State. Bob. <laughs> that's like my somebody name. from that team follow him. Mikey V. The quarterback, Caden <laughs> Creel. He's a bit, but Joe, he said he's got a lot of the teammates are fans of the program. They said they're big fans. I said, Goodbye. I said, there you go. <laughs> go Jacksonville by me. Right. Go, Cox. Just, go, go Cox. Cox. Go Cox. Go Cox. Go Cox. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you really, this guy is one of the sickest. It's unbelievable. The it buy really, or sell is a personal part of the show. It's a personal yeah, segment. Yeah, he's not, he's not wrong. Right. I could buy or sell whichever, whatever I please. And this week I'm buying the Cox. Big. I thought you were going to, I thought you were going to buy Big the Cox. <laughs> That's he's for the sportsman. He's a problem. <laughs> the sportsman. <laughs> By the way, uh, Mikey V, let's uh, get that only subs promo in while you can too, please. Now, if you want to join the only subs <laughs> brotherhood, we got uh, we got. Listen, listen, we're giving out ten picks a week, three college football minimum, five <laughs> NFL minimum. 
Uh, you know, and 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 it's really something else. It's something different. Five Sunday picks, Monday night pick, Thursday night pick. We're picking it around 60% for the year. Uh, daily workouts as well on there. Special community, exclusive group chats, exclusive IG lives. Okay, moving Subscribe it, today. Moving, moving right along. That's right. Joey you D. asked me to do it, Bob. Don't ask. Joey D, buy or sell? I'm selling this week. Um, the NFL's got to get this under control, man. It's, it's becoming... Well, I don't want to just say officiating. I'm going to go more specific. The past interference call has, for all intents and purposes, it's starting to ruin games. I don't know if you watched the end of that Colts game with the Browns. I did. The Browns basically were gifted a, a, a touchdown at the end of the game and a game that, for all intents and purposes, should have been over. I'm not saying to get rid of that pass interference call. I'm just you saying can't. You can't get the rid fact of that an offensive pass interference call is 10 yards and a defensive pass interference call can be 50 yards is just simply ridiculous. And a lot of teams now will simply heave a ball up with the intention of hopefully getting or drawing a pass interference. And it's just not okay. It's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a disadvantage big time for these defensive players. And the other problem is, the gum finally lost. It's good. Um, the other problem is the fact that there's just no consistency with the with with the officiating when it comes to pass interference. There are some officiating refs and games where you'll watch where they'll let them be chippy and go back and forth, and then the next game you watch and they don't let anything. There needs to be consistency with that call. And I don't know if you go to college and you like the college route and you make it a 15 yard penalty, that's and then that's the way to go. Or I think uh, 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 in another way, I think maybe what you do is towards the end of the game so it can't end the game on a pass interference like yesterday, the coach should have an opportunity to challenge a pass interference call. So, for example, yesterday the ball was thrown so high over the, the receiver's yeah. head that he couldn't even physically have made the catch. That should not be a pass interference. And if it's thrown, they should have the opportunity to challenge and overturn it. I love the sell. I, I agree with the cell and I actually agree with the two things that you said. I think a, you move it to the college rule, I think for sure, because you could go from the 40 yard line to the one yard line in a matter of seconds in one play. Um, you do it to the 15 yard rule. And then I like the challenge too. I think you should be able to challenge it. Everybody says quarterback's the hardest position, which I do. I get it. I know that it, it is, but it'll be tough pressed to see if defensive back might be large because to be a cornerback, Corner, yeah, corners, it's corners, awful. Corners, corners stick with difficult. these guys. I mean, step oh, for my step. God, it's ridiculous. And then for uh, half the time, the offensive, the wide receivers are pushing them. I think Mikey V made a good point once. He said the best officiating is when you don't recognize they're on the field. Yeah. And yep. when there's a call that literally pushes an entire football field length to like the one yard line, that is just, it's got to be a blatantly bad play by the defensive back where he basically prevented the, the receiver who was going to catch the ball to not make the catch. In, in a nutshell, if you watch that Giants-Bills game from a couple, two weeks ago, oh, the Monday night game, or the Sunday night game, they called the pass interference on the play before the last play of the game. And the play, the last play of the game was even more egregious, I think. Yes. The, but they literally refused to call it because they don't want the game to end that way because they had just given them one. There's no consistency. I agree. You agree with the 15 yard that they should go to college though? Mikey? That's tough. That's tough to say that though. I, I, I do think that's tough. The one, the one call that I've been harping on for them to change is defensive holding defensive holding to me is is almost worse. Defensive holding is more ticky tack, and if they call it on a third and twenty three, you get an automatic first down. I said oh. they should change that to a ten yard penalty, no automatic first. Instead of five yards, give them ten yards. If that gets them a first down, it gets them a first down. But it's not like they just get bailed out on a third and forty, and it's all yeah. of a sudden it's an automatic first. Because I think that's a lot more ticky tack. The defensive holding penalty. So I think they okay. should change that. I don't think they could change the PI because if you do get a blatant one and now it's only 15 yards, but the guy would have caught, they're going to tackle receivers that are wide open. If, yeah. if it's going to be a bomb, you're going to tackle that receiver if it's only going to cost yeah, you 15 yards. To be honest though, I, I agree, but you don't really, you don't see them do that in college. I mean, you don't see them just blatantly. So college, I got to look at the exact rule because the other day I, I, I was, I was looking at somebody got fouled in the end zone and the ball automatically got placed at the two on a pass interference a in the end zone. Yard. It's a 15 So yard. I, I, I got to see exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I still think it should be a spot foul, but I agree that there's just no, the problem is the consistency. The there's coach none. should be there's at least none. allowed to challenge it or they should be able to like, like 
basically once the deal is made, like once the call is made, you're you're screwed one way or another. You I can't like, do anything. I like the challenge, but I don't see why you shouldn't be able to challenge it. I thought that they had. I thought that they had broached that before. I thought they had broached that previously. Well, I'll tell you ago. what. Good sell. Talk talk to the Colts, man, because they got banged yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go into the uh, to mine, and then we will jump into the top five. Um, is a, a big sell. He Caleb Williams, um, without question. I mean, this guy. First off, asking for equity or ownership in whatever team that he goes to is one of the before he even plays a snap. I mean, come on. The guy he's is going to get two games paid. in a row since he said that. Two he games said in a row that. He's lost. And then what's even worse. And look, maybe that's coming from his team. Maybe that's coming, but still, it's still the same thing. And then if that's the case, shame on his team, shame on his agent, whoever is doing that. And then did you see the interview he had after the Notre Dame game where he talked about that fan that approached him and he talked about his size 12 and a half shoe. No, it is one of, and I always liked the guy. It is one of the all time cringiest worst interviews. I have like a guy who had the world by the balls. And then he goes into this interview and I instantly dislike the guy. It's so bad and he talks about this Notre Dame that that came fan that came up to him when they had rushed I the saw field. I saw that video of the fan going up to him that right, I saw right that which I saw. obviously the fan shouldn't have done but his response was the worst he talks about you know at the end of the day I go into my size 12 and a half shoe and anybody would love to be in my shoes this guy really has no affiliation to his school he doesn't do any like it it was an all time. I mean, that's, interview. that's, that's the worst route that a pro athlete can go. Yes. Is the, is the I'm a pro athlete and you're not route because yes. it's just, it's very ugly. It always it's the equivalent ugly. of clapping back on Instagram. And by the way, 12 and a half shoe is not really impressive. Caleb Williams. If you're, what size? If you're listening, what I'm, size a four, I'm a 14. I mean, Caleb, oh. Caleb won't take a walk. I mean, Caleb Williams has banged himself incredibly. He's not, not only since he, since he said that Bob, not only has he lost two straight games, he lost to Notre Dame and he lost to Utah. He's now not even close to being the Heisman favorite anymore. He's not going to win the Heisman again. That dream is out the window when he was on a realistic pace to be the first person since Archie Griffin to win back-to-back Heismans. That's off the table. And all of this shit that you're saying is going to, listen, I still think that teams are going to move heaven and earth to draft him, but it's showing things that are definitely concerning and red flags moving forward. Yeah. You're getting a little window wash there. Little Mikey, wash. can you just give a shoe by you? Can you no, show me the shoe? I don't, I'd be I don't. so curious to see that. Oh, he's got foot. big feet. He's got big Holy feet. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the screen. <laughs> no, um, all right, boys, we got a rapid fire top five coming. And again, yeah, I hate to cut us short because this is a good one. This is, a, is good a good one here. Very good. We had a big call at 12 o'clock. Um, so we're gonna be doing this. My top five that we did, it's gonna be top five most desired brands, most top five desired sponsorships for the brilliantly dumb show. Um, I'm happy to sort of look. No right or wrong answers here. This is just personal, personal preference. Top five ideal sponsorships. Number five, I got Rayos. I don't care if it's the restaurant. I don't care if it's the sauce. <laughs> Whatever way we can get Rayos, I would take. Give me Rayos at five. Number four, you guys not might, might not see it coming, but it would make a lot of sense. We talk about it all the time. What if the NFL was sponsored by the Burnley Dumb Show? Or the Brilliant yeah, Show. I'm sure sponsored by the NFL. Sponsored I mean, by the yeah, NFL. Yeah, It'd be a, be, I, yeah, I mean, that would be ideal. It'd be I, hysterical. I mean, that's ridiculous. I, I couldn't even. Whoa. Whoa. I, whoa. No, I mean, listen, whoa, I would love day, it. Mikey. I would love it. I'm just Manifest saying. it, Mikey. Yeah, sure. You don't, if you don't think Mikey V is going to fire off a DM to Roger Goodell. <laughs> 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 you got, on, you got, you got, you got nothing. Uh, uh, number three, I hate to do it. It's the last time we are going to mention them. That's it. We've done our part. Mikey V did uh, another review for them. Yeah. I'm saying it one more time and then, and then they're out and then they're out. Um, Wendy's Wendy's in number three. That's the end of that. Um, Number two, Jersey Mike's Jersey Mike's number two. I love me some Jersey Mike's the Jersey roots. I think it's an unbelievable sub, although pub subs are really creeping up on Jersey Mike's. Um, They're unbelievable. It's, It's like a down South type thing. Pub subs, keep an eye out for that. And then number one, um, this has no bias whatsoever the finest material 
in the game. You see the polo, you see the two sweatshirts, Breezy Golf. That's <laughs> breezygolf.com, the official sponsor of the Brilliant Dumb Show right now. And hopefully for a long, long time, if they're willing to have us, one could say that they are. That is weird. Um, breezygolf.com, bada bing, bada boom, Breezy Golf at one. Joey D, we head on over to you. Um, all right. I, I, this is tough for me because I want, you know, when you say ideal sponsorships, I'm thinking, okay, what would be the best? So I've, I've done a collection of, I think, some of the best potential sponsors. Mm. Um, and number five, I'm going to go Gatorade. I, I think Gatorade. I like that. I would consider that. I like that a lot. I like that and a lot. Who, you know, I, I'd like them to create a slogan for me, like, Go like Joe, you know how they be like Mike, you know, like something like that. That'd be really cool. Could you uh, imagine? Yeah. Uh, no, he had a no. good thing going. He had a real good thing. Going. It was so like, good. Yes. It was so I'm just, good. I'm oh, joking, now the guy like, wants a Michael Jordan campaign yeah. from Gatorade. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, you idiots. I'm just saying. Oh, could you imagine? I could you imagine? I, I think Gatorade would be great. I love. Gatorade. I love Gatorade. The play is great. Play. I love Gatorade. I'm all for it. It was I'm making a it. joke. You guys bought it hook, line, and sinker. Okay, at number four, I'm going to go with Ferrari. I think Ferrari would be a dream cart. <laughs> why? Why? Why, Bob? Why is the face? Nothing. No face. No face at all. I'm sure they'll get it's me. Ideal. I'm, I'm not going to get it. I'm saying this would be ideal. You guys never dreamt of driving a ferrari before no, i'm not i'm not a big car guy neither am i all right well eyeballs. ferrari i'll i'll keep it moving ferrari at four at number three tim hortons tim hortons to me would be just iconic you know because you got the canadian background it would be like one of the forefront uh sponsorships that i would be able to like you know uh i i just it would be unbelievable i, I would love to be the face of tim hortons and um number two we're going to go Carbone. Bob's got Rayos. To me, Carbone seems like, you know, just as good as it, it gets um, to be able to go in there and just eat at that fine establishment whenever I want, get the sauces sent to me. Check me off for that. Number one, you want to talk about, you know, we travel a lot. We, uh, we're we on the move a lot. Give me NetJets at number one. <laughs> Being able to travel in luxury and style and not have to worry about the unpleasantries of uh, economy flying. I think that that would be really special. Really, really special. Like Not to say your, it's going to happen, but it would be nice. Like, give me your thoughts. Number one, Waldorf Astoria hotels. <laughs> and, and I should actually, I actually have in my honorable mention, I have a hotel chain. Okay. Very good. Did you have Waldorf Astoria in particular? No, at Four Seasons. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. That's yeah. my honorable mention. <laughs> This guy really hits his demographic. He, yeah. really, really he does. does. Bob, you got to think of what's the convenience. <laughs> All right, Mike, Which one did you guys have a, a, an issue with? Ferrari? I could take Ferrari out. You know no, what? No, 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 no. You know what no, I was no, going to no. put in instead of Ferrari, Mikey? I thought what? about it. What? Sony. I was going to oh, fuck Sony, Sony bro. Why would Whoa! you do that? No, no. They well, because they got Joe. TVs. They got no, they're, 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 Do they have TVs? Do they have TVs? They got they PlayStation. Got they, they got, got pieces of junk that are going to break the day Whoa! after the warranty expires. They got that. I'm a Whoa. Samsung. I'm back to Samsung. I should have never moved off Samsung. I, I, yeah. Samsung. This TV, TV. This TV gone tomorrow. Gone. Replaced tomorrow. Gone. Samsung. Gone tomorrow. <laughs> Dead serious. Costco just sent me the text message. Um. All right. <laughs> Number five, last, last resort, last time, like Bob said, this is it. I had to put them in the five hole because quite honestly, I can't put them any higher right That's now. It. They're not giving back the respect that we deserve. I think they I gave think, up on us, man. I think they did. And it's pathetic. They, 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 <laughs> it is, it is. And Wendy's, this is it, Wendy's, this is That's it. That's it. Say goodbye to Wendy's. This is the Wendy's. last mention. This is the last mention of Wendy's at five. Four, give me Peloton. I've been in the Peloton camp for quite some time now. I always said I, I would love a Peloton sponsorship. I'd love to be an instructor on Peloton. I think I would be a good common man instructor for Peloton. I think I would push and drive people. I think I think that would be a good fit. Peloton, consider it. Number three, Duncan. I think Duncan would be a really good sponsor for this show. Duncan Donuts. I think America runs on Duncan. The Brilliant Dumb Show runs on Duncan. I just think it would be a good play on words. And Duncan products to me 
you know, I, I enjoy their coffee. I know Bob has his, uh, you know, he's, he's, he, he likes his upper class coffee, but true, Bob, you're, you're a more blue of a bottle guy. Starbucks is Starbucks is just a better coffee pound for there pound. It's I, dis- it's- I disagree. I think Starbucks is too much. It's, too oh, much. it's not even close. Okay. All right. Number two, <laughs> Modelo. I'm a Modelo guy. I love wow. Modelo. Um, I've been a Modelo drinker quite some time. Uh, I do just think I, I like their commercials. I like their marketing. Love their beer. Modelo at number two. And then number one, uh, not to copy Bob, but you know, I'm wearing it. Joe's wearing it. Bob's wearing it. You see the hat. You see the the uh, hooded sweatshirts. You see the polo. There's only one place to go. That's breezygolf.com to get your, what's the matter, Joe? What, what? We already have Breezy. This is, why would you put Breezy if you are, we already have it? We want them for a lifetime, Joseph. Yeah, we need We a have lifetime. them for a lifetime. Well, they, they oh. don't technically sponsor. This is misleading because now we want like a piece of shit for not no, putting no, no. Breezy on You sure they do. Don't. You sure that's do. That's ridiculous. Instead, no, that's, this no, was instead. top five ideal sponsors as ones sure. that you wanted to but get. But they're not our sponsor. For the, they don't sponsor this show yet. That's not true. That's not true. The it's Burnley not. Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at Breezy golf that is true but sometimes joe you do dreams okay. do come true one could say your dreams have come i'm true. so i'm so aloof now because like i don't understand why why you said top five sponsors you would like to have and we are we already have breezy we reached our goal joe and you know this is a pretzel job now i look like the bad guy man this is really well, him, did you guys, him in, did you him guys in corroborate this sub, no, no we didn't no. sub breezy out sub joe, breezy well, joe, out no, sub joe, breezy ferrari out put breezy in for joe, ferrari no joe put him in your honorable mention no that's even worse <laughs> <laughs> yeah it sure is okay um I'm doing McDonald's honorable mention. I just think it would be really, really cool. I'm like, I know you're not big on them, but but just to no. have McDonald's would be, I think, really, really cool. And just a big old power state. My honorable mention is Taco Bell. It's good honorable mention. But I, I, I want Ferrari out for Breeze. Okay. I have uh, I have American Express as the honorable mention. Wow. Don't leave one. home without it. It's a really good one. I love American Express. You know the problem is? Great like customer wedding, service. The, well, no, the problem is like the wedding venue. I want to book everything on my on my American Express. They won't take it. They no. won't take American Express. Of course, they, of course, they won't take it. What do you mean? Of course, they won't. A lot, take a lot of places won't take America, especially for something like that. They're not going to take Amex. Yeah, it's a Amex. bang job. Yeah, right. Right. Well, how do, how I, w- I would have loved. I'm, I'm surprised they're taking a credit deposit. Usually they want cash deposit or check. That's so. I said I said yeah. a cash deposit. Yeah. They charge my they charge my credit card. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a fantastic, a wild, wild episode there. The real the dumb show, but a wild. damn good one. Folks, we love you. We appreciate you. Giuseppe D, Mikey V. We'll see you next time. Another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show.